We're going to switch into travel with travel expert Caroline Cotton. Last month, we focused on pampering yourself at spas across the country. Today, we're going to talk about last minute trips. Caroline, thank you for being back on with me today. You're welcome. I look forward to it. Thank you. All right, Caroline, it is slow season right now. School is back in session and it's kind of, you know, the dead time before the holidays. So if people want to take some trips, what do you suggest? Well, this is the time, which is why we're talking about them now. Um, school's back in session, as you said, and up until November, which starts our holiday season, you're, is a time that you can get more deals with last minute travel. I don't normally recommend them for high season because it's just too iffy. But right now, if you can get up and just go, you can get some very good travel bargains. Um, the first thing I like to tell people is to just watch out about what you see on the internet. What you see is not always what they're advertising, or what you see is not always what you get if you try to book it. Um, you'll see deals in, uh, advertised for $59 airfare. Well, it, when you start to go and you go to the site and you start looking, or you go to the airline and you start looking at their site, it really isn't $59. It's $59 from Boston to Philadelphia, which really doesn't help us. Right, right. But if you know your destinations and you kind of plug those in, and you just look for those specifically, you find the airlines that fly where you want to go. There's deals right now for as low as $109 each way from Fort Lauderdale. When uh, Miami is uh, 129, but still that's, those are good airfares. Um, the only problem with Key West is the last minute travel does not work here. So we just, it's almost like, um, just don't even think about it unless you have that extra. It's usually 150 to $200 per person more, but there's still last minute travel packages. You can do just the airplane ticket. You can do a package that I just plugged in, for instance, next weekend. If you and I wanted to leave Thursday mm -hmm. and we're gonna fly and we want three nights hotel included, we can go to, um, from Miami, we can go to Denver, round trip, have all of our hotel, the taxes, the airplane, uh, everything paid for, for $429 per person. Let's and do we it. Could, we, could be, <laughs> we could be in the Rocky Mountains next weekend. It'd be great. Um, we also have really good deals to Mexico. Uh, there's, there's two different types of trips to Mexico. People have their opinions right now about Mexico, but it really is a lot safer than we've been led to believe, especially at these resorts. I know that folks have heard about the violence in Mexico and some of them have just said, no, I don't want to go there. But at these resorts, the government owns part of them. Mm -hmm. So they're going to make sure that you're safe. They're, they're going to safe. They mm -hmm. do. If you want to go off and st stay in a $10 a night hotel, then, you know, I couldn't, you know, recommend that. Mm -hmm. But we have all-inclusive packages. You could leave for three or four nights to Mexico for $329 per person. Mm -hmm which is, you know, normally it's like five, $600 per person. So that's almost a 50% discount. Wow. And, and you think that that's just going on because of the time right now? It, that's just last minute travel. Mm -hmm. And it's also because it is a warmer season. Mm -hmm. You just kind of look at the, at the map and the places like the Caribbean and Mexico, anywhere that it, where it's warm, like Key West right now. And I think I haven't looked, but the hotel rates I'm sure right now are the lowest of the year in Key West. Mm -hmm. But it's when it's their low season, and they want it, they want to attract the the guests to come, mm -hmm. and so that's why, of course, they have these um, discounts. And a lot of times, they look at the cruise ships. As, as a matter of fact, right now they look at their inventory, and they see well only half the cruise is booked. So two weeks before they sail, mm -hmm. they put on these like today one hundred and forty nine dollars per person. Mm -hmm. Well, that looks really really great, but when you really look at it, you have to pay eighty dollars taxes and then $90 port fees, but still, it's only $329 for a three-night cruise. Mm -hmm. And if you can go during the week, you can go for the same price for a four-night cruise. And you can't Monday through Friday. Oh, that's all your food included. Right, right. And um, going backwards to, to Mexico, they do have all-inclusives for about another $100. So for $429, you could go to a three-night all-inclusive, which is all your meals, and at the clubs, 
in Dominican and Mexico, it includes your drinks as well, your adult beverages, nice. which can add up on a cruise ship. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I want to book my last minute trip because these are great deals. And I think people kind of get a little down right now at this time because summer's over. Right. You know, all the traveling they did is done. Kids are back in school. So this is kind of a little pick me up. I think it's really great. And sometimes people just don't know when they have time that opens up especially you know down here on the way that we live our life there's so many things going on and all of a sudden it's like oh my gosh I don't have anything for three or four weeks and then you could just say gosh wouldn't it be nice to get off the rock mm -hmm. and it really is nice well great so get those last minute trips now and next yes. month Caroline what are we going to focus on well I'm thinking that we should start talking about some holiday travel because now is the time to book um, Thanksgiving there's, there's some dates at Thanksgiving that are just horrible. You almost have to book those before now. But um, we, we still have a couple little clues on how to do that. And Christmas mm -hmm. and New Year's Eve getaways, going to New York maybe, mm -hmm. doing some fantastic things, go to Rio, who knows. Nice. And it's hard to believe that we're going to be talking about holidays. I now, know. It really is. It really is. And we're not even dressed for it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Caroline, thank you so much. Thank for you very much. Time. We'll see you next month. I'm going to take a good break right now. I'll be right back. Stay with me.